Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and in this video I'm going to show you a very nice place to camp if you're coming through northern Alabama. It's on the north side of the town of Gadsden, Alabama. It's a full service campground, has some nice amenities I'm going to show you, and maybe the best part is it's part of the Nakaluta Falls Park, which is just right beside it here, that has some beautiful scenery and some other attractions. So let me show you around. Right out front is a children's playground and they have a swimming pool. That's for campers only. The pool is not open for the season yet. So you've got this black tarp over it. Got a nice lawn here and picnic tables. There's the registration building right there. That big building to the right has the laundry room, restroom, and a, I'm not sure you would call this room kind of a social room. Oh, and they have a fairly good sized library if you get really bored. <laughs> Coke machine. This big building also has an indoor hall here that could be used for like RV groups. And they've got two pavilions for large groups here. The road through the campground is paved and the sites are gravel but then it does have a paved parking spot here and there is my campsite it was a little scary backing up into what looks like a big cliff down there <laughs> it is a big drop off and here I have a sewer dump and a water faucet right there and the electric box is 203050. The only problem might be is that my sewer dump hose comes out of that middle compartment right there and with the sewer dump hole being right there I don't know if my hose will reach it. I may have to back up about 10 feet to the end of that pavement right there in order for my hose to reach the dump. Other than that, the campsite here is fine. I did have to check around to find one where I could get satellite coverage. It's always a problem with all these trees in campgrounds finding an open space where my satellite antenna which is on the roof right there can get a good view of the satellite in the southern sky and I did have to maneuver around a bit to find a satellite opening I'm just staying here for two days to give me some time to get caught up editing my videos I've taken recently I want to show you one more thing. Here is my bill for two days. So it comes out to about $23 a day, which is not bad at all. This is what is right behind my motorhome here. Goes down about 20 feet or so to a level driveway that goes out to the front of the park so you can walk along here to get to the Nakalula Park where the waterfall is or if you walk in the other direction there are hiking trails with guardrails that looks like it goes down to the creek level I don't think it goes all the way down to the creek but there is hiking trails along here 
And I can see a little bit of a waterfall off into the distance there. That building right there is where you check in for your campsite. And so it's got a real nice patio on the back there. And look what else it has right next door. You can get married while you're here. <laughs> And right beside that is what looks like a pretty good sized river here. It's actually called Black Creek. So I'm going to go across the footbridge, show you the creek and the falls, which is right there. As you can see, it's a pretty swift running creek. And on the bridge here, they have love locks looks like each slot is taken <laughs> but on this side there's a lot of slots that are available the campground is right up there I'm surprised they're calling this a creek <laughs> it looks like a river to me and just a short distance from the bridge is where the water goes down the falls here. And here's where it continues on through this gorge. Nakalula is an Indian lady who was engaged to her boyfriend but her parents wanted her to marry another man, which she definitely did not want to do. So rather than to be forced to marry him and not her boyfriend, she jumped right in off of the cliffs here. That's the legend that I heard. In fact, it all lays it out right here if you can read that and I think it is a very beautiful waterfall what do you think And look at the rock cliffs right beside it here. Here is a map of the park area. The campground is up here. So you come across the bridge and they have a pioneer village all throughout here and a little train that goes around it that you can ride. There's a playground, botanical gardens, there's the main part of the Pioneer Village, and they have an animal habitat there, a mini golf out front. So there's a lot of things to do while you're camping here. This is what their train looked like. And the train goes around the park and I'm right here at the train depot you can see the tracks right there usually the train opens in March for the summer season but not this year <laughs> they decided to get a new train and guess what the new train they decided on needs a wider track <laughs> so they're going to tear up all of this railroad track all the way around the park and lay some new tracks that'll fit the new train and not only is that a genius idea they decided to do it during the summer 
So I asked in the visitor center and they said it won't be open until at least August this year. Now if I was in charge, <laughs> I would at least have the thing built before the summer season opens. But no, I guess they just didn't think of that. Who knows? They have a children's playground here. And right out front is a jack-in-the-box restaurant, which now has changed their name to just simply Jack's. When I came through Gadsden about two years ago, I made a video riding the train and showing you all around the park. So I'll put a link below to that video if you want to watch it. Look how rocky the ground is here. In this video, I'm mainly just going to show the campground and the falls that's right next to the campground. There are some people watching the falls. And right next to it, they have this snack bar serving mostly what they call pops, ice cream pops. I guess that's what they look like or a solid color. I don't think they have any that are like that. <laughs> Here's the creek down below the falls. It's a real kind of military green color water. It looks a lot better coming down the falls <laughs> with the white water and I don't think there's a way to get down to the creek level down there. They've got it all fenced off here and you'd have to be probably a pretty skilled person to get down there. I don't think they'll allow you to do it. And you pretty much have to see the falls from the side here. I, you'd have to get down by the river to get a good straight view of it and without any tree obstructions. I wish I could get out on that ledge right there to get a better view of it. With the park here and the waterfall and a really nice campground that is not expensive I think it is definitely worth going out of your way to see good day folks 